The bath of Joytown Primary School in Thika by the Salvation Army slightly over 50 years ago heralded a new dawn for children with disabilities in the country. For years, the school has given such children access to education, rehabilitation and care at little or no cost. Currently, we have 320 children with 29 teachers, uh, six are males, and uh, 23 are ladies. Being a special school for the physically handicapped, Joytown admits children with various forms of disabilities. These range from poliomyelitis, spinal bifida, muscular dystrophy, cerebral palsy, and congenital malformations, among others. And why we take uh, the disabled kids because they can't fit in the normal schools. There will be so many challenges because they are competing with the normal people. So they are just admitted for, to go for learning like any other person. The name Joytown reflects the Salvation Army's common sense of belief that hope and self-respect are essential ingredients of happiness. This is best exemplified in the special unit for the severely handicapped where teachers spare no efforts to give a meaning to the lives of these children. And this one is a class of multiple handicap, a class of uh, whereby a child has got more than one condition. We have 20 pupils, 8 girls and uh, 12 boys. They have more than one condition whereby a child, like now my friend here, she has a condition, three conditions in one, that is, she's hydrocephalus, she's also spina bivida, and more so, she's also mentally handicapped. At Joy Town, pupils receive an all-rounded education which encompasses mental, physical, social, emotional, and spiritual well-being. All the learners take part in extracurricular activities and sports befitting their individual capabilities. You have noted that there are different types of disabilities in this school and every child is entitled to a sporting activity. So what we normally do or what we focus on is adaptation of different games so that every child gets the advantage of taking part in a certain sporting activity. In spite of the numerous challenges facing them, Joytown pupils have overcome great odds to maximize on their learning potential. During their computer lessons, the learners engage the only available means at their disposal to touch the keyboard, what is truly a reflection of brilliance at its best. The students are intellectually able to learn their academic work. The only limiting factor is their physical disability. There are those who can use their hands to write, but sometimes the handwriting is not legible. And once they come here, they appreciate their work because they're able to do their work and they're able to read and see that the work can be neat. Joytown offers primary level education up to standard eight. Last year, 2011, Regina Mugure scored 374 marks to gain admission to Joytown Secondary School, a sister institution under the Equity Bank's Wings to Fly program for bright students. Being in that school changed my life because it was a boarding school and I had all the time to study there. Back at home, I used to go to a day school. It was very difficult for me to move with my wheelchair because of the potholes, but there, the school is friendly to my challenge, to my physical challenge. Examples abound of former Joytown students who have achieved their career goals. Some of them are currently teaching and working in the school. Actually, to them now, I'm a role model. So at least they can see, I keep on talking to them, telling them about my experience here. So I can say, by seeing me, they can see that they can come from where they are and they can become an important person. Not necessarily like me, and even more important people. I would advise those who are physically challenged to take life as normal. Because being physically challenged doesn't mean that you can't do anything. You are just like those others, it's only that you have the challenge. 
Being a boarding school, children get accommodation, food, clothing, medical attention and specialized amenities in tandem with their needs. With time, constant use and increased school enrollment, such facilities now call for an urgent facelift. More funding to augment the Salvation Army and the government's input is seen as critical to the institution's survival. The school is worthy of that investment and support continues to provide the highest standards of education and care uh, in the line and the heritage of what it has done throughout those past 50 years. So we are looking for support in order to upgrade the facilities.